Hey guys, Rob Potter here from Photography Hotspots. Today we're down in Melbourne and we're in Hoyser Lane, which I'm about to do a photography location review for you guys so you guys can get down here with Mikey and take your very own photos. Alright guys, so let's get a bit of a bird's eye look at where Hosier Lane is inside of Melbourne. Now as you can see, it's pretty much smack bang in the middle of Melbourne. If we zoom in a little bit here, we do have Flinders Street Station, um, Federation, Federation Square and a few other places that are in pretty close proximity. So it's, it's really close to all the main, you know, I guess the main hot spots that you'd find inside of Melbourne. But what I want to do is just have a, a bit more of a look at Hosier Lane. So this is, as you can see, Hosier Lane. And as you can see, it sort of runs up and down here and it does have a bit of a U-shape in it as well. And we'll have a look at some video and photos that I've got of Hosier Lane because it's a fantastic photography location. No doubt you've probably heard of it or you've probably seen the photos and thought, wow, I want to check out this hotspot. And for very good reason, it is a fantastic photography location. And as you see here, Flinders Street, which was one of the main streets inside of Melbourne, is there. And so again, it's very, very close. You know, we were able to walk there and then to other things all in, cro in close proximity, which is one of the things that I really loved about Melbourne. So that's it there. Let's have a quick look at a couple of little videos that I took on my iPhone. So this very first one is standing down the bottom here at Flinders Street looking back up. And so there, it does have a bit of an incline to it. Let's zoom that back that way. And it's just a very quick little video. But as you can see, this amazing street art, you've got some restaurants there. It is, you know, this is obviously during the day, as you can tell. And it does act as a bit of a, a thoroughfare for people. But then you also get photographers and, and tourists stopping by to check out these amazing, this amazing street art, which is really, really cool. And so that's the first one. I'll just take that back a little bit more. So as you can see, so looking back up the street there, you've got all these signs and really, really cool stuff. And then the other one that I had, so here's another one. And this one is sort of up in the top corner. So this is in Rutledge Lane. So just in this corner here. And as you can see, nothing escapes the, the street art. Even the bins copped it but it's such a, such a cool photography location. One of the places that I could not wait to get to when I, when I visited Melbourne. And so that's it there. All right, so that's a little bit of video. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea, but let's have a look at a couple, a couple of the photos that I took. So this is sort of up the other end. You saw a, a second ago a video taken from down here. So this is up the other end and I love my Pixar characters and, and, and Disney characters. So here's... Um, you know, Monsters, Inc., which is really, really cool. Some of the, again, like, look, look at the detail in this. It's so cool. Um, Mike Laskowski and Sully. Uh, so, but the great thing too is, is this cobblestone. So this was, again, during the middle of the day, this is a HDR image. So during the day, it's really good. You do get, uh, obviously, you're going to get a lot of highlights and you're going to get some traffic coming through. Nighttime, though, not as much traffic but you do get all the lights coming on and that can really make this photography location come to life. So that was really cool. But if you add that with a little bit of water, so this was rain. This, actually, this was actually taken probably 15 minutes after this photo. You can see there's sort of a bit of cloud in there. Oh, well, a lot of cloud in there because then it started to bucket down rain and which was actually what I was hoping for. I was really hoping to get to visit Hosier Lane on a night time and when it rained and when it looked like it was going to rain, I thought, that's it, I'm going to run back there because I'd been in there the day before and that was this photo here that you saw taken during the day. But the light just bounces off this cobblestone road beautifully, helps to light up all the lights, you know, everything's just bouncing. It's, it's fantastic. I absolutely loved it and what a great photography location it is. Here's me just mucking around again, getting my photo taken with uh, Mike and Sully. That was, uh, it was really cool. But the great thing about... Hosier Lane is that it's for, it's it's ever changing. So while these two guys are there uh, now, you know, probably by the time I'm filming this tutorial right now, or in a couple of weeks, couple of months, couple of years, this will all be completely different as people come through and they apply their own art and style to it. So that's again another reason why I can't wait to get back there because I'm sure by the time I get back there, it'll be completely different. Now this is a photo that I haven't processed. Um, this is taken down that Rutledge. Is it Rutledge? This Rutledge, yeah, Rutledge Lane. Uh, so this is taken here, sort of pointing back up. I haven't processed it, but I still wanted to show you it uh, just to give you a bit of an idea of what that sort of U-shaped looks like. 
wasn't as inspired here um, personally, but I'm sure, again, if I go back another time, it'll be completely different and some great opportunities there. And I've still got plenty of photos to go through and, and photograph from this location. It is such an awesome spot. Now, this has been shared on Photography Hotspots. So if we have a look at Photography Hotspots, it's been shared twice, one by Jason Legear. So thank you, Jason. And Jason gave it a 7.5 out of 10. And as you can see, it was sort of dry, but of a nighttime when he went. And then Simon, Simon Woolley has also shared it. And as you can see, it's sort of probably maybe late or early afternoon. Oh, sorry, late afternoon or early morning. Um, but certainly been raining. And I'm taking an absolute guess at that being that time just quite dark but again very overcast so it could be during the middle of the day but Simon's given a 9.5 out of 10 so you can see he enjoyed it a little bit more than Jason did but and he's actually got a really nice photo from that Rutledge corner I really like that it looks quite cool so well done Simon so what I'll do is I'll put links to both of those down in, below in the comment section so you can go through and check it them out if you want some more information um, you know some a, a map and all that sort of stuff but highly recommend getting out and checking out Hosier Lane absolutely loved it like I said it's going to be always changing so I'm looking forward to getting back there very soon and checking it out yet again when I'm in Melbourne so there you go guys enjoy happy snapping make sure to like and share the video if you're enjoying it or if you know somebody that's going down to Melbourne certainly share this video with them and make sure and say hey you want to get down to this place with your camera all right guys well all the best happy snapping thanks bye Visit photographyhotspots.com.au for more great Australian photography locations.